Hi everyone, I'm Dominique Rocopola. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to do everything that you guys have been waiting for, and that is my everyday look. Um, there are so many people who comment on like my Facebook page, my Instagram, my Twitter, Snapchat, and always ask me, what do you use for your eyes? What do you use for your foundation? Um, I use a number of different products all the time. I'm always switching it up, but I have my go-to's all the time, and that's what I wear every single day. I wear different things going out at night or trying new products, um, but here are my 100% go-to's. I swear by them. I'll wear them every day, um, and they've never let me down. So I'm really excited to show you, and yeah, let's jump to it. So first what I usually do is I prime my face. Now the only thing is, is I do not have um, my go-to primer with me here. I usually use the Smashbox, which I will put the picture um, right up here. Um, in one of my last videos, I used a different primer from Smashbox that I did not like. I love the blur and photo finish one. Um, so that's what I usually use in my face. Um, today I am not going to prime my face, but I'll live. I'm not a big fan of primer. I kind of use it here and there. It's more of a hit or miss with me. I'm more of a setting spray type of person than I am a primer. Let's just pretend I prime my face, okay? So put the Smashbox on, great. So now for foundation. Now I use two different types of foundations. Um, and again, I use so many different kinds, but my main, main, main brand you will see a lot of today is MAC. I love MAC, you can never go wrong with MAC. It's one of like the OGs of makeup. So what I do is I go in with MAC foundation, I do Studio Fix, so if you can see, and I am color uh, NW13 for MAC. Now again, I switch up uh, colors for MAC because again, I do spray tan. So today I am going to use this on my face. I love, love MAC. I'm like obsessed with this foundation. The smell of it, everything, I love it. And it's full coverage, which is something I love. Now, I also mix it in usually with, um, I'm like obsessed with this foundation. This is Born This Way by uh, Too Faced. I, again, obsessed with this foundation. It's full coverage, it's creamy. So I'm gonna go in and use both of these today. I mix them together. So I am going to take a Morphe foundation brush and I am going to go in. Picking the, the best foundation, like matching wise, I am never good at um, because I spray tan, one day I'm wicked dark, the next day I'm really pale or one day I am like super in between. So my foundations are more of like a hit or miss for me um, color wise. So I go in more with powders and stuff to blend more out. So I kind of dab it around my face, let it sit a little bit and then I start blending everything. So after I put my foundation on, I go in with some concealer. So my everyday concealer, my go-to is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I absolutely love, love this. This is number one. Um, it's won like awards for being like a number one concealer. So I'm obsessed with this. And if I'm not using this, sometimes I use the NARS um, concealer too. So this is my everyday one. And what I do is I just put it like this right underneath my under eyes. I do a triangle like this on my forehead. Bring it right down my nose.
So now that I have everything blended out, I go in and I set my concealer and the rest of my, my face and my foundation. That way I don't really have any of that shine or that dewy look and everything stays matte. So I usually go in with the Laura Mercier setting powder, but I do not have any more of it because I use it every day and I'm waiting for another stock of it to come. So next, what I usually use is by uh, NYX, uh, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. So I use this to set my under eye and wherever I kind of put concealer. One thing you definitely want to look at when it comes to um, translucent powder, you definitely want something that does not have a flashback. So basically when you're out and you think your makeup looks so dope and someone gets a picture of you and your under eyes are like super white, that's a flashback. So you definitely want to look and to see if it says no flashback. Sometimes it will come right up and say it. So that's one thing I look for and I've made that mistake plenty of times. I do like my setting powder a little like lighter because I, I'm going to totally bronze up my face. Um, so I definitely like that dimension of more of a pop on my under eye and kind of in my T-zone area. I'm going to go in again with the same wet, damp beauty blender and I'm just going to set that concealer on my under eye. Okay, so now when my face is setting, I go in now with my bronzer and I start bronzing myself up. Don't be scared, Drew. It's supposed to look like this, so don't be worried. You're probably like, um, that doesn't blend. Okay, so what I usually do for bronzer is, again, since I'm a MAC girl, I go in with MAC Studio Fix Bronzer. And if I'm not using this, I go in with my Morphe. And what I like is that they give you a shimmer and a darker kind of bronze. Now I usually use this more when I'm spray tanned because it's really dark. So I am going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I'm going to grab a contour brush. So again, this is my everyday look. When I go out, I use a lot of um, cream, highlight and contour. That will give me more of like a really snatched look. So I go in more with um, cream, and if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, comment down below. I'd love to do one, and I can show you all my favorite products. So when I am contouring, I like to do both sides of my forehead. I like to bring it right down to my temple and go along my cheekbone. Now what I also do is I definitely get my ears. That's one thing everyone needs to definitely listen to is please get your ears with some bronzer. I know you think it sounds so weird, but when someone has a totally snatched face and these like pale ears, it looks ridiculous. So please, please, please blend your ears in. That's, that's key to contouring. So I also get my jawline and I blend a little bit down my neck using a bigger brush and then with a smaller brush I go and I just kind of lightly tap and then contour my nose a little bit. I absolutely hate my nose, like completely, and I've begged my mom for years if I could get a nose job and she never let me, so this is my form of a nose job is makeup and contouring so it can give it the illusion that I have a snatched nose. So contouring your nose is honestly probably the most difficult. Like I'm still kind of learning how to do it, especially on my nose because I have such like an intense like bump in my nose. So it's kind of hard to contour my nose. Um, clients pretty easy to, but it's really kind of hard to contour my nose. I have the biggest pain in the ass nose, which is hence why I wanted a nose job, mom, but this will do. So what I also like to do is I like to grab a smaller um, brush and I like to go in a little bit more with my contour on my cheeks and get more of a kind of snatched high cheekbone. 
So I grab just a little bit here. Once you contour the bottom of your lip, it will give it like a shadow to make your lips look like they're fuller. Everything with makeup is all like enhancement. So one thing that bothers me about people who are like, oh, you wear too much makeup or oh, why do you put all that crap on your face? The one thing is, one, if you enjoy it and like it, you don't need that type of negativity in your life when people say that. And two, like I always say with makeup is that you're not trying to cover up any of your features. You're basically just trying to enhance the beauty that God gave you. So that's what I like to say. So now with my Morphe, let's see what number this is. This is an M527. I'm going to take just the excess of my baking off. So it gives me more of a brighter appearance on my under eyes. And what I like is that it covers up any of those darker circles and those creases and fine lines because sometimes at night your girl does not sleep and we don't need people seeing that. Anyways, okay, so now what I do to set the rest of my face, I go in yet again with uh, MAC Studio Fix. And as you see, I love this because I already hit pan and I just bought this like, I don't know, two months ago. So I'm gonna grab a Morphe M27 brush, kind of just do a quick circle around, boop, 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 coat the brush. And then any other place that I did not put kind of a lot of setting powder on, I go in and just kind of set the rest of that foundation. Okay, so now that um, all my face is set, you will kind of start feeling more of like a dryy type of feeling because um, you want to kind of matte everything down. So what I do is I go in with my Morphe setting spray and I give my face just a little bit of a hydration after all that powder I just put on it. Now I go in with my favorite and that is highlighter. I have so much amazing favorites for highlighter, but for my everyday look and my top, top, top product, I use the one and the only Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can't go wrong with, on, look at this highlighter. This is absolutely like amazing. I mean, amazing. So I go in with her and what I do is I grab just a small, brush. Let's see, what one do I want to use? Same thing using the Morphe spray. I give my brush a quick spritz because that will really pick up a lot of product and give it that glow. I like a really wet highlighter like look so I love spraying uh, my brush so I can get that look and achieve that goal. So what I do is I just take So after I do my cheeks, I just get a little bit on my forehead and the cupid's bow, like so. And then I take my finger and I just kind of run a little bit down my nose. And then you need to take it away from me because I will highlight my whole entire body with this stuff because I get like carried away with highlighter. So sometimes also um, during like the summertime or anything, I like put some on my collarbones um, and kind of give you like that like glowy summertime look. So now that my face is complete, I go in, now my eyebrows are microbladed. So um, I don't really fill my eyebrows in a lot anymore, but I do need a fill on my microbladed eyebrows. I am gonna go in with, I do two different kinds of eyebrows stuff when I do and fill in my eyebrows. I go in with the one from Benefit. Um, I do really love, love this. The pigment in it is amazing. Or I go in with um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. So today I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow pencil from Benefit. Um, and again, basically I don't really need to do a lot with my eyebrows, but 
because I do need a fill, you know, I do kind of have to fill them in a little bit more. So basically, I kind of just do some brush strokes. What I like about this um, pencil is that, you know, it gives you this like defined look with your eyebrows using the very, very tip of the pencil. I don't know if you can kind of like see that. The way it's kind of shaped, it will give you just up right up. So that way it will look like you have some like eyebrow hairs and like like you can draw on some like strokes with it. And then I kind of just go up. So now that my eyebrows are all filled in, one thing I do like to tell everybody that don't try to like overdraw your eyebrows, try to make them like match perfect because I always say one thing with eyebrows, they're sisters, they're not twins. You're never going to get them correct and like exactly alike. My eyebrows, because they are microbladed, you pay for them to be exactly alike so you kind of can't really go by mine. But the more you overdraw and the more you try to get them perfect, the more you get some like thick eyebrows and they look like blocky and awful. So just keep that in mind when you are filling in your eyebrows. Um, so now that we are finished with our eyebrows, I'm gonna go in and do my eyes. So I do not need to really um, prime my eyelids because with the concealer blending it, I did put um, them on the top of my eyelids blending it in. So I use that as a kind of like a base or like a, a primer for my eyelids. So I go in with a couple of different palettes. Um, I always use anything Morphe, so I usually sometimes use um, the Morphe palette that has a lot of like warm kind of goldy tones in it. Um, or I use the Morphe 39A palette, which this is like a going out type of thing. I usually kind of use this one. Um, or I use the famous and the amazing James Charles palette. This again is like an artistry palette. I use this more too with going out. This isn't what I use every day. So this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette and I absolutely love it and I have fun with it. Um, so for my everyday look, I'm going in with my Morphe bronze palette because this is what I pretty much use every day. If you guys want to see what my going out look looks like and it's kind of like a different different type of products, um, comment down below and we can maybe film something like that soon. So now what I am going to do is I'm going to grab a clean Morphe brush and I am going to go in with this shade as a transition, transition shade. So what I do is I just put this right along my crease just to start softening up my eyes before I go to town on my eyeshadow. So again, no one's like telling you, oh my gosh, do you have to do this like every day? Do I choose to do it every day? Yes, I do. Why? Because I'm a makeup artist and hairdresser. And honestly, ask yourself this question. If my makeup and hair looks like crap, would you trust me to do your hair and makeup? I wouldn't. So that's the reason why I definitely use a lot of products, a lot of good products, and I wear a full face every day because I want you guys to be able to trust me and I need to look good. You never know who you're gonna run into. Okay, so now that my transition shade is on, I'm gonna go in with a more dense and smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with, let's see, I'll go in with this warm brown tone, kind of mix it in with a little bit of this. I mix a bunch of colors together. That's what I like about this palette is because there's so many different kind of browns you can choose from. So I'm gonna go right into the corner of my eye and just kind of throw this in. And now with a smaller brush like so, I'm gonna go into those brown colors that I was just using and I'm going to smoke out the underneath of my eye. 
You hardly see me using bottom liner. If I use anything on the bottom of my eye, it's just mascara and eyeshadow. I hardly use any cream liners. I only use liquid liner on the top of my eye and that's it. Otherwise, I smoke out my eyes on the bottom using eyeshadow. And it gives it like a really, really good look. So, now I am going to use um, my MAC uh, concealer and I am going to cut out my crease to give it a really fun and fresh look. Cutting out a crease can definitely be hard, but when you do it every day, it's kind of just like one swoop and you're done. You definitely, I like definitely, definitely recommend using this MAC one because it's so thick that it's not like a watery type of like concealer where like then it's gonna get everywhere and ruin what you just put on top of your eyes. So I do suggest this because it's not as messy. So now that my eyes are all cut creased, I am going to take a packing brush. I have so many brushes, I don't even know where half the stuff even is. So now that my, my creases are cut, I'm gonna go in with a packing brush and I am going to take a nice shimmery color. This one's really, really pretty and I am going to put this right on my crease. So now I'm gonna go in with a smaller round brush and I'm just gonna dip in to some white right here and I'm gonna throw it just right in the corners of my eyes. What I like to do this for is because it really, really opens up your eyes and gives it like a nice lift. And then bringing it along the brow bone will also help it pop, clean up anything that might be like uneven and give everything a really, really nice lift. Take a nice clean blending brush and just kind of soften up those edges so everything blends in nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara, eyeliner, and lashes off camera, but I do wanna tell you what I usually use for all that. So what I usually do is I go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. This stuff is honestly, I cannot use any other mascara because one, one swoop, good. Sometimes on days I don't wanna wear lashes, I just pack this on and people ask me if I have eyelash extensions. This is the best mascara ever. And then I go in with um, an eyeliner. My mom got me this brand, this brand's from Italy. Um, it's a liquid waterproof, um, matte eyeliner i hate shiny like liquid liner i love it matte that's just a personal preference it has vitamin e in it don't really know how to pronounce the name but this is what the bottle looks like right here um and then i go in with lily lashes because i love them sometimes i go in with the ardell or kiss so these are also awesome so i'm going to go ahead and do this all off camera and i'll be right back Okay, so I just popped on my lashes and I threw on some lipstick and what I usually use for every day, I use um, this matte um, nude lip from MAC. I love MAC lipsticks, you can never go wrong. They smell amazing, they're pigmented and they're long lasting. So um, I usually line my lips sometimes and another thing I line my lips with is usually again, MAC. Um, anything kind of nude um, is what I'll wear every single day. So this is the final look and to finish it all up I'll go in with my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. Um, I absolutely love this stuff and this will make everything sit and right into place. So this is my everyday look. 
Tell me what you think about it. Comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll answer. I'm always uh, checking everything. And yeah, so I'm so excited that you guys got to see my everyday products, my go-tos, and how I do my makeup every single day. So I'm really, really excited that you guys are here, you're watching. I want you guys to like, like, subscribe, comment, share, um, so you can see more amazing videos. So any other content you guys are thinking of, uh, comment down below. I would love to read and I would love to be able to bring that to you. So. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.